Hello one and all. Today we are having a very brief discussion on very important pest of rice that is yellow stem borer. Now the moth which is visible over here is the adult of the Scirpophaga insectulus or yellow stem borer. And you see that it is yellowish in color. And uh, this one is a female by the way because uh, you see that uh, very prominent black spots are present on each of the four wings and these spots by the way are not present or they are absent in case of males. So this uh, yellow stem bird is a very common pest in all the Asian countries and uh, in India it is widespread in all paddy growing regions and areas like Assam, West Bengal, Bihar, Odisha, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. So in general this pest is active from the month of April to October and thereafter from November to March it remains there as full grown larvae in rice stubbles. And uh, the pupation, the pupation of the full grown larvae after they complete their hib hibernation period, the pupation starts sometimes in the month of March and thereafter the emergence of the moth begins in April. And uh, for your information, the moths, they are very much active after the dusk and after the mate, after the female moth mates with the male one, they lay out 120 to 150 eggs on the underside of the leaves which you are seeing over here in 2 to 5 clusters. And you see that when egg mass is there over here, you see that the eggs are covered with yellowish brown hair of the female tuft. And the caterpillars from these eggs they hatch within six to seven days, and the very tiny black headed caterpillars they very soon bore into the stain from the growing points downwards. The larva of this caterpillar they grow in six different stages, six different instars and is full fed nearly about within 16 to 27 days and after that it constructs an emergence hole which is always located above the water level and pupates inside the attack plant. So the image which you are seeing now is a very typical symptom of the damage due to this yellow stem borer and this one is known as white ear head. You see that the the whole panicle is chaffy one. And now I have to check whether this is exactly due to Scirpophaga insertulus or due to some other things. So the way to confirm that one is one has to try to pull this out gently and if it is pulled out very easily then for sure that it is due to Scirpophaga insetulus and now I have, I'm trying to split the base of the pulled out portion and now you can see the caterpillar inside that one so the point here was that the larva they feed inside the stem 
causing the drying of the central shoot or dead heart in the vegetative stage of the rice and complete drying of the panicles or white ear head in the boulder plants and one important information I must share is that in most of the cases the aromatic varieties aromatic rice varieties they are highly susceptible to this yellow stem borer so as far as uh, the management of this very notorious paste of rice is concerned removing the rice tubules and destroying those can break the chain of the paste carryover from one season to the other and because the infestation starts from nursery and the and the female moths they prefer to lay their eggs at the tip of the rice seedlings therefore before the rice is transplanted the clipping of the tips of the rice plants can ultimately destroy the egg masses and it checks the egg masses from going from nursery to the main field and what you are seeing over here are very important natural enemies like damselflies different species of spiders who act as predators of this pest so those are to be conserved and uh, pheromone against this pheromone trap against this paste is already developed so it can be applied at the rate of 5 traps per hectare for monitoring and 20 traps per hectare for mass trapping one can also use the light trap by the way and probably the most important management strategy should be release of trichogramma japonicum because that is a very important egg parasitoid of this yellow stem borer so trichogramma japonicum if it is released at the rate of 1 lakh per hectare starting from 30 days after transplanting at weekly basis it can check the yellow stem borer very well and uh, as far as the chemical strategies are concerned there are many options like uh, one can go for the application of granular insecticides like curta hydrochloride or fipronil otherwise in case of non irrigated condition one can also go for spraying the curta hydrochloride which is different formulation that is 50 sp that can be sprayed at the rate of 600 gram per hectare now as i mentioned that uh, this trichogramma japonicum application is very effective against this uh, yellow stem borer so let's quickly see how to use the trico card having the trichogramma japonicum in rice field to get a very effective result
थैंक यू वेरी मच